So yesterday I threw down an exclamation point of like, you know, based on looking at it, I don't think we should go past here. Well, the blue is us and the red is right where I threw the exclamation point down and it just so happens to be where the turkey died. <laughs> so I think uh, I did a good job marking that one. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, kill another. TV. Nice wake up call. What's that? Some energy. You guys don't hear a gobble one morning or whatever, and it's a problem. So, uh, the bird that was killed was with Christmas. Because Jordy posted something saying the bird killed in camp, missing a toe. Going like that, short sleeve. Yeah. KZ TV, letting it ride. That's right. Yeah. Turkey's on like Yeah, bear, yeah. Oh, yeah. Flops, South Florida. So yesterday afternoon, when they we were got, in the field. When we got here, I went to go open the gate. I get out of the truck to open the gate, and he's sitting there strutting 150 yards from the gate, right there. Mm -hmm. They didn't even care. Hold on, let me figure this. Out. Do what? There's five turkeys right there. There's one that looks a lot bigger than the rest. We might be able to kill this bird. How many did you see? I think there was about five. Yeah, but even if we would have got out here earlier, we would have never. I don't think we'd be able to put a move on them. We literally sat right here and watched some of the binoculars. And then this morning they were standing there again. Yeah. And then this morning we sat over there. They flew down, came past us, came back, come ba went back, came back, and then we heard them gobble south of us. We came sat here, and then there was three birds at the gate. All right, morning number one. Josh arrived last night. We were able to come scout and roost a bird. Watch them put across the pasture right before dark, so we know about where he's at. We got about a quarter mile walk right now. We're gonna go set up and see what we do. We were just picking up our first spot here. We've got three decoys out. The fog is still really heavy, so Chance went down the road right here and hit three or four different owl calls and uh, hit a crow call and two turkeys just let off. One of them's right here south of us in the same field that we're hunting, so we're about to pick up and head down there and try to get on this bird. He freaking ripped off twice. That last one was down there for sure. Do you think we kind of circle back? I think we keep this tree line. All the way down? And I mean, they're, they're between us and the truck. Think so? Oh, 100%. There he is. That's a good sign. He's Finally had one let loose. I know where he's at now. Do you? He's over there. 
try to slip in there, but it's going to be tough. This fog might be good, though. It could help us a lot. Because he got right back there just now. So the birds went, those birds I went from... I he's roosting on, like, this side of the those road. Those birds went from that gate to that road within, like, 20 minutes. When they're moving, it's well, yeah, you, you don't get in front of Once them. Once they go to their, yeah. Well, what did they do yesterday afternoon? They went from that gate to the roost right so there. So you saw them here yesterday afternoon? Yesterday afternoon at like, what, probably 5.30, 5.45. We, we, we got to this gate, they were there, and we watched them all the way till 6.25. They hit that road. Wait, this gate or that gate? That gate. So on that side of the head, you watched them go across? And all then... the way. So, I mean, if we come up here, in theory... That's what I'm thinking. Park up here, walk over there, and then try to cut them off. I guess we'll take this tree line, we'll go about halfway and call, and we'll glass and call. Nothing, I don't know. We could come back here, maybe, and sit on that little creek edge. Some steak for dinner. <laughs> you missed it, chance with the <laughs> just through the palm out of like four turkeys standing right there. I was calling down there in the corner. I turned around and all I could see was whatever and I went like this and threw up and all I saw was just heads looking like this. I don't I couldn't tell if they were long bit huh? Right there. You see this where that bush is? Like and you see that that one yew tree that's right there on that corner? Right there? Like where that green is? I look at the, in the grass. Where? Right there. You see that tree, that little tree is that sticking tree out? That I said we should set up that earlier. Yeah, they, they were. I turned around and all I could see was the head sticking up to the grass. And then I like kind of walked over this way and Josh was like, "Oh, I'll call him for you." I'm like, "Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up!" And then as soon as I went this way, I pulled my binoculars up again and all I saw was, "Phew!" Oh my God, darn it! This morning, Chance, Chance's dad, Josh, hunted this area. Thought they heard two turkeys. I was in Jacksonville. Drove here. We ran over here this afternoon. Ended up sitting, calling, got up to leave. Four turkeys were in a field. We don't know which way they were coming from, but we ended up backtracking, getting to this road, and looked down the road, and next thing you know, there's a hen and a long beard coming towards us. So we kind of back up to the edge of this head. We watch him cross through a fence and then run up. Based on what it says on the map, there's a road there. Based on how dark it is, he's got to be roosted somewhere up the road. So I think kind of the game plan for us tomorrow is hunt this turkey because we know he's not far hopefully he gobbles the guys say they didn't hear much this morning but hopefully if he gobbles off a limb tomorrow and we can get a general idea of where he is we could push in a little closer to him maybe calm him down off the limb towards us um i don't know we're kind of we had plans to go somewhere else but after just seeing what we saw i kind of hate to leave a turkey when you know somewhat close to where he's going to bed so I guess we're just going to give it a quick go in the morning here and hope for the best. And then if not, bounce to another spot and see if we can't yelp one in there. Ready to your first turkey? First off yellow. Discredited me on camera this morning already, I see. It's 5.30, sunrise 6.30. It's kind of bright, so we're gonna have to ease our way in here and probably not go as far as we thought. Just because we don't want to bump this turkey off the roost. We'll probably just ease down to the base of where this road is and see if See if we hear him gobble and see if he wants to fly down on the road and walk towards us, I guess. I don't know. We can't get too close to him. I'm kind of 
to sit back off this edge on some higher grass against a bush. So hopefully it's enough cover. We've tried to blend the camera in and ourselves in, but he should be roosted somewhere down this road on the right hand side in this group of trees. So we're just waiting to see if we hear him. Maybe soft yelp just going to let him know we're this way just to keep him from going the other way. I mean, we don't really know what he's going to do, but it also kind of rained last night. It's a little windy this morning. Hopefully he hasn't bumped trees or, or moved somewhere, you know, farther in or even closer to us, I guess. But just going to wait and see if he gobbles to find figure that out. Stand there, and as soon as he turned, and I kind of saw it. I, did you say shoot him? I, I, I thought I heard you say shoot him. I'm not standing up right now because you're gonna get me on camera just going like this and just falling straight. Both of my legs you're are so foggy, <laughs> dude. At first, though, yeah, when he what? when he came in, Josh is like, "Oh, there's a hen right there," and all I'm thinking is, the hen just flew that way. And as soon as the hen flew that way, I'm like, "He's in the tree that way. Josh the hen's like, flying a, that way." I slipped my binoculars up. And I could see that beard. I was like, that's the bird from yesterday, no doubt. Bro, as soon as as soon as he it came down the road a little bit, Josh was like, Oh, there's a hand on the road. As soon as he walked just a little bit and kinda of picked his, his head, head up, I was like so I was like, Is that not him? What do you mean? Like I mean, starting to like whew. rain and mist and yeah, get yeah. foggy. Take I mean, this was... gun from me. Dude, my legs I'll tell you what, that ammo he did not move. No, at he all. he got smoked. Hopefully that what what's Hopefully what beard he has is still there. Hey, you want to help me get up? Take a look at that. Got some good hooks. This is not a bad weighted bird either. <laughs> look at the spurs on that thing. For the way that he kind of acted and whatever, and I know like, you know, it's kind of foggy. Look at his, look at his toe. Can you see this toe? Look at this toe. Look at that nail. 
It's like Dustin's nail. <laughs> 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 Chance. Those there may be go. the best hooks. Well, what about yours that you shot last year in the afternoon? He had he had decent. Not ones, those though. But not these, right? Probably about maybe a little smaller. See Some good color beard. too. Not much beard left after you blew it off. <laughs> yeah, I did kind of shoot him a little little low. Thank you. But, I appreciate yeah, it. Of course. I was thinking with the fog, as soon as the hens started doing whatever, not hearing anything this morning, I'm like, we ain't gonna hear him. And as soon as she was right there and flew that away, yeah, I, know. I said, we might as well get up and go. I was just, I was he just... flew right by her and he is not gonna come this way. Yeah. And then immediately he goes, oh, there's a hen, hen on the road. And I'm like, but she flew the other way unless she hit a tree and like, was like, swerve, I'm going left. And the next thing I hear comes the white head. Thank God we sat where we did. Yeah. If we were here, no chance. Oh, no, no, you, you, no chance. I mean, that, look, like, that when bird you look was back, in that tree right there. Yeah, she was not far at all. No. So this is our turkey setup this morning. From that laid down grass, you can see where my big self was sitting. Not far behind camera tripod where Josh was, just kind of pushing in this edge. And then somewhere down on the ground is where Chance was laying. And uh, maybe not even 25. 20? 20 and he didn't go anywhere. So thankfully we have this little tree in front of us. Because I think when he came in, I mean, if we didn't have something kind of to set us off and break us up, I think I think he might have he might have seen us and it might not have worked out. But thankfully he just hung up at 20 and just stood there. Gave us enough, enough time to wait for him to turn see that he had an actual long beard and let him have it.